I think thinking about that, the physical nature of our computing can be really powerful. And sometimes the simulation hypothesis, like thinking about it can help heighten that or can just make you realize, oh, there's some interesting bugs that are worth thinking about. So for example, there was a story I read where I think it was like in some hospital, people noticed that iPhones stopped working when they were near one MRI machine. But it wasn't Android phones. It was like just Apple products. Uh, and it turned out it happened to be that some sort of switch or some other component within these Apple devices, it had some small enough gap that it happened to be this MRI machine had, had a helium leak. And the helium atoms were just the right size to kind of get into this machine, but it didn't affect Android devices or other things. And so it was this wild thing that just brought home like the deep, deeply physical nature of computing. And so for me, when I think about the simulation hypothesis, I don't think about it as like, oh no, like I'm being controlled by aliens or humans in the future or whatever it is. It's much more about, okay, how do I think about breaking open computer games or like the deeply physical nature of bugs? And like all this, like that's the kind of stuff that I find most interesting about the simulation hypothesis. Um, I also think about it as for me, it's almost this like cry for myth in the tech world mm. where it's like, oh, like we're a deeply, like the Silicon Valley world is like deeply rational, um, deeply logical, but we still kind of need some sort of myth or store organizing story in, in our world. And the simulation hypothesis and ideas around the singularity, certain ideas around longevity or AI or things like they often, and many times they're also based on technology, but when they kind of get big enough, those ideas kind of veer into kind of myth and storyland. And so for me, it's, I, I view that as kind of when people take those ideas a little bit more seriously, it's much more around fitting kind of a certain amount of myth into kind of that myth-shaped hole for those type of people.